Hey guys, it's Jar here, and welcome to the shadow that runs along our car, alongside our car. This looks really cool, really interesting, and just I don't know, it just looks really cool. Let's start. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Oh, female, male. I might go with her. Gun it. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird sitting on this side of the car. But my stomach's been feeling off for a while, and I can't drive. And so I've handed my keys over to this stranger. So what I know roughly about this game is I think it's supposed to be like a zombie apocalypse scenario. Not entirely sure. What's the worst that can happen, right? I stood out the window, watching the unchanging scenery whiz by. There's an awkward silence between... There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like feeling it. It's so stuffy in the car. I reach for the window control and let the window roll open. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. Well, who knows? Maybe they would. Fair enough. The slight breeze feels good against my neck. But this guy looks like he wants to say something. So, guess this is kind of strange to us after three old days, but what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Um, what's your name? What should I name you? I'm gonna name you Rachel. Rachel. Well, nice to officially meet you, Rachel. Names. Oh my, it doesn't fit perfectly. I'm alright, Steve. Name Steve. Okay. He looks just deceitful. How was he expecting me to react? It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a Steve. I continue staring out the window. The sky is red. I love this art style, by the way. It was absolutely amazing. Normally I think it was pretty, but now it just depresses me. Bad things come out after dark. I remember it all too well. I'd rather not think about it, so I decide to break the silence after all. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm, uh, he looks surprised. I guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this and that. I never really settled into one thing in particular. What the hell does that mean? That was weird. Well, that, that was weird. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder what his real job is. Maybe he was a trash collector? He does look kind of dirty. Her <laughs> face like, well, I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah. Well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. After my dad got through the third DUI, his license was revoked. He used the excuse to never leave the house. It was just as well anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. Uh, I guess he didn't... Sorry, no man. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. I wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is giving me more perspective. It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually, anyway. Oh, I love how that changed, that colour that's so pretty. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take the hint already. Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Still. Do you think there are any radio stations left? I'd be shocked if there were. I reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. I reach towards the console and turn the radio in one direction. There's nothing but static and sometimes metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec, go back. Hmm? What did you hear exactly? There couldn't really be something there, could there be? I slowly rotate the knob back the other way. Wait, there it is, I think. Is that mariachi? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't not believe. Of all the music that could be playing, this is what we get. What am I thinking? Of course it is. 
Of course we're going to highway to hell in the dark and mariachi is the only music available to us. The combination of Spanish vocals Spanish vocals and horns on the track are completely ridiculous right now. I'm actually dying. The tequila tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell is out there running this? Of all the music that'd be left, man. It takes me a minute to settle down, but then... Wait, isn't this the same song again? Uh, it's probably an endless loop, because why wouldn't it be? Typical. Sure, it seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves, after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What do you think a zombie even listens to? Is death metal to us an answer? Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all into bay metal these days. <laughs> I don't know. I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this. What do you exactly... But what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they're finding themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they left the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now. Well, except for that. He gestures towards the console. 101.7 is now the Infinite Loop Mariachi radio station. So, what are you into? Music-wise, well, I really like Atlantic Marcel's top 40 hits, that sort of thing. Not like I had a lot of free time to explore musical taste or anything. You? And don't tell me it's baby metal. Would you judge me if I actually said I haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. He doesn't know what an unironic... That I'm... I don't really like baby metal. What do you listen to, then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the stones or Marilyn or something but you know you're probably actually judging me more more fair this huh try me Abba oh my god I can't keep a straight face <laughs> I lose it everything's just too much he looks kind of sullen I'm sorry Steve but that's n but not that sorry told you no no it's fine their music's catchy and I should get these words out all this laughing's making my stomach hurt more. Dang it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there is no right answer to that question. Good man. Except for the one. I'm 22. Hmm. What kind of reaction is that? Not, whoa, you look so young or anything like that. I wonder how old Steve is anyway. This me is kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? Or peppy and stuff. You should be happy to have it. That's sure an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. He purposely reaches over and shuts the radio off. <laughs> He's got all surprisingly immature side of him too. Do you ever expect things to end up this way? What? Where did that come from all of a sudden? Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? The sun's set late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have not any light at this hour. Especially with the street lights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like damn fire. That sounds kind of morbid, but... Kind of fitting for the end of the world. It's silent again for a little while, but it doesn't last. She never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well. What do you like to do? What did you do before everything? Like to do? Hmm. I turn my eyes to the window and I think of life. Actually, I worked a lot. I don't really have time for much other than that. I wake up, shower, go to work, have lunch break, back to work, get off work, eat dinner and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That's about it. And after leading such a boring life, I end up here. Probably not even going to go out with a bang. But that's going to be just as dull as my life. I guess that'd be most people's stories. It's tough out though. Well, it's tough. Probably tougher now. <laughs> All kinds of pointlessness in the end, huh? You and damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyway. Sorry. And you just wonder why you, you didn't spend your time better, you know? It's deep. That's actually exactly how I feel. About it. Surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. 
Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. We're all going to die anyway. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a no man. Sorry, I got hiccups. Did he bat her across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Well, whatever. That sounds real cliche. No, really, it sort of suits you. To tell you the truth, I haven't really had much of a purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. Which I've been told sucks, so don't just get by, kids. Just have a life, have a purpose, have a meaning. When you can find something to call, to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point, I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. I guess I got my wish, didn't I? I used to wish that too. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for dad anymore. And now I'm not, but I can't say whether that's really a good thing or not. Wishes you never, wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, monkey's paws. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my head against it. Feels okay for a while there, but it's acting up again. God, why does this all have to happen? Still feeling nauseous. Hmm. Damn, I should have been shouldn't have been so obvious about it. I don't want to cause any trouble. This might be causing even more trouble though. Ah, uh, yeah, it's gotten a little bit better, but anyway, I moved my hand away from my stomach. It's not like resting my hand there will make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel the pain, I still know my life. That was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. You think we should stop and rest? I glance at the full gauge on the dashboard, nervous. We barely have a quarter of the tank left, as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Braking would just waste gas. Onwards it is then. Trying to ignore the, my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road stretching out ahead of us. Oh, I like that one the best so far. It really hurts now. Did you get bit? I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. And that's saying a lot, considering what I had to go through every month. Ha! <laughs> feel you, girl. I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself. Do you ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? And is it really such a good thing that we're all still alive? For the moment I swung the baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. Just as I started to sink into really dark thoughts, I hear Steve's voice. Honestly, I'm trying not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here and we're safe. And how and why... Of it is just garnishing on salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean that we're really facing the apocalypse or whatever. So the first couple of months I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. And then and then I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then dad, how do I even begin to explain? Listen, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but you're a man. What happened? My dad? And killed him. I smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. <laughs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But then, but they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wanted off to another one. Just so happened that the pair, that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed since he wasn't really any different from usual. Does it count if you kill a murder? Does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? Does it count as murder if you never arrest, get arrested because your town's entire police force is undowed? It's pretty pathetic, huh? So was my dad. So am I. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain now and guilt. I stare out the window, seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? Though that hasn't changed since way before, I guess. Hey. Aww. Feel some warmth on the top of my hand. Hesitant at first, but then I look. Steve's hand envelops mine and I feel safe and comfort. We're still here. Just remember that. Still, Until the, that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. I'd be stupid to assume that we would. 
but while we're still breathing, there's hope. Pain? That's pretty cheesy. Pfft, that's pretty cheesy, isn't it, huh? And I'm sorry about that, about your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. <laughs> Their eyes. Wow, where do I even start? Always be honest. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Steve. Even though I barely know him, I just trust him somehow. My mouth opens. My mouth opens and on it, on into words about. Honestly, I feel relieved when he died. And then I felt awful for feeling relieved. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just feel free. Not that I got to enjoy that feeling for freedom for long. It makes me feel like I'm a monster to admit that to someone else. It really does. And that's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no worry. There's no wrong feeling that. He's right. I know that I'm only human. I'm not a monster. Not yet. Anyway. I guess I'm all... I'm almost privileged. No one cared about that. No one I cared about has been around long. Wow. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck here like us. I wonder if we'll ever know. Steve, I... Can't go on like this. Just keeping it to myself. Hey, Steve. There's something I need to tell you. Touch me something lightly with the palm of my hand. The searing pain remains that I'm no longer human. I gave me nearly up when I killed my dad. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. Didn't even hesitate. I swung the bat, baseball bat as hard as I could. And then he bit me in the stomach. A parting gift as he crumbled to the ground. Even in death, dad still found some way to screw me over. I... Hey, stop. It's okay. I've always blamed dad for mum leaving us. He was selfish, he was an arsehole, he was that. He was this. But just look at me. I've put Steve's life in danger. I lied to him since the day we met. I am my, my, my father's daughter. But I just keep calm, alright? I don't even know how this thing works. Maybe there's a way. I am so sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected to. I must just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure that's has anything to do with being bitten. If I, if it wasn't for this, I looked down my stomach. I might think I just imagined it. I wish I was just dreaming right now and this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that things are wishes. Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in the car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver line and pfft, retail. Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. Well, probably you're in the road for a while. Wow, huh? Well, a rest does sound nice. I've always had to get up so early for work. I'm not used to being up this late. I start to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. Will you wake me up if anything happens? My mind flashes to a baseball bat still in my trunk. I, no, I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there, at any rate. Yeah, maybe it's even a station that plays both Atlantis and ABBA. Maybe I've been running ever since Mum left. I know the bat just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Steve and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten far, farther than anywhere I've passed, we thought. I noticed there was a few gauge light is on, but it feels strangely peace. Close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already started to drift. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we live. The proof that will remain no matter what. So from now on, we'll just keep going forward. That was beautiful. Oh, love that. That was, I love the colouring. That was amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. And maybe I'll do it from the guy's point of view if you want me to. I don't know. Anyway, try. See you guys in the next video. Sarcasm out.